Hey guys, this is Rick with Custom Concrete Design, Lake of the Ozarks. This week we are on the other side of the lake at a condo unit here, lower level. Um, they have two patios. We're gonna go ahead and just do this one, but first we've gotta take off this coating that's on here, get it down to the bare concrete. I think I've seen a couple of cracks. We'll probably have to repair on that side, but overall it's in pretty good shape. We're gonna come back in and put a, uh, we're gonna put concrete wood back over the top of this. So this is gonna look like, um, we're just gonna go in with one color. I think we're just gonna do a, a basic brown color, but we're gonna have several different variations of that one color. But anyways, yeah, concrete wood, here we go. What you guys are seeing here is the first coat of charcoal gray. Just put it down. So this is wet. It's right now, it's trying to dry. It'll dry about four or five shades lighter. And we'll come back tomorrow and do the same thing. We did have to do this uh, outside lip here as well. Because it doesn't go, the screen door, or the screen doesn't go all the way to the edge. So, went ahead and coated this too. Okay, our pattern's taped out. We went in with four inch, six inch, and we did an eight inch too on our width. And then on our length, we made them anywhere from two, four, six, eight, and we did a few tens in there as well. So we really got everything staggered out really nice. And tomorrow we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do our base coat color over the top of this tape to basically lock it down in case there's any bleed under. It'll be the same color. So we're gonna cover this with a thin layer tomorrow. Okay, right now we have uh, cut our lines, our saw cuts, recut them to open that back up. We pulled our tape to reveal our grout lines and our pattern. Um, what we're doing right now is we're just going through and, and kind of cutting some of the corners of the boards and the edges. I don't know if you can see this or not. Right here, here, um, here's an edge. We're just trying to make it somewhat jagged on some of these boards. You can see some of them here, they're not perfectly straight. So we've just kind of gone through on different boards here and there and um, you know, just kind of knocked off the edges in the corners. But our texture went on yesterday and as you can tell, it's a nice wood grain texture. Got some of our knot holes in there. Now, once we get these areas notched out, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, that's what this drill's for. I'm gonna go ahead and drill out some holes on each plank uh, here and here so two holes each side of each plank we're gonna have uh, so that's basically gonna look like nail holes so that's gonna be all the way down on every board so it's gonna make it look even more realistic you know between our texture and our knot holes and our nail holes and everything um, it's uh, it's gonna look like barn wood here real shortly it already is it just needs some coloring which once we uh, get all this done we're gonna go ahead and color it all right what we're doing now as you can tell we're making some nail holes <laughs> you 
Yes, it is. Okay, this barn wood project in Lori, Missouri is complete. This is going to look a little bit different from different angles and heights. Um, you know, from this side to that side, we have more light shining in and it's creating a nice sheen across here. And then it's going to look like it's really light and then dark. It's all in the sunlight and the angles that I've got here. This thing turned out beautiful. Definitely going for that rustic barnyard or barn barn wood look. I think we got it. Got some nice texturing in it, nice coloring. All of our nail holes and every board a lot of knot holes got about a dozen I guess not a lot about a dozen knot holes in here good heavy texture four inch wide six inch wide eight inch wide planks all staggered four six eight and 10 in length so we've got really good variation in the boards good variation in the texture the coloring outside area here too.
about probably six of the boards in here we did a solid well fairly solid dark color to give it even more variation all the other ones have mixed color all together we've got two colors brown and amber and we've got two uh to about 70 probably 80 percent brown mixed in just a little bit of amber give you more of a bird's eye view here detail and the coloring and our planks. We also varied the um, nail holes so they're not perfectly placed. That's all done on, done on purpose. Kind of staggered them too. We actually uh, chipped out some of the corners as well on some of the planks and also on the side of the plank to uh, just give it more more realistic a more realistic look. Tried to keep it as authentic as we could. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the work. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Got any questions? Drop them down in the comment box. If you want to, you can share this video. Facebook, YouTube, wherever you like, would be much appreciated.
again like it if you like it got questions let me know in the description comment box below speaking of the description below this video if you are on YouTube the website links are below as well check out my Facebook page my website a lot more information there I post all these videos there as well but if you get subscribed you won't miss any of my future work video.